What's up, YouTube? Great to be back in front of you again. It's your guy, Larry W. Brooks, a.k.a. Mr. Pure Hustle. And I'm here with you with the Pure Hustle book review, where we'll discuss where I come to you and I discuss different amazing books or books that I think that will kind of help uh, change some of the things, the way that you may think, or maybe even help you build up your business as you go through it. But it's brought to you by the Prime Real Estate Network, where we drop a new video every Sunday. And it goes in it from a different entrepreneur in a different space that may be like-minded like minded as yourself. Again, I'm Larry W. Brooks, 20-year entrepreneurship. And so three-time author. So a lot of times these are, are books that I, that are poured into me that, that I think that can help you go through and change some of the way that you may look at certain things. So keep them real short, keep them real sweet. Feel free to comment below. Feel free to like and subscribe. Feel free in order to send a review view to other people and also in the comment section i most definitely leave some more details uh, leave my audible because i listen to a lot of my books through audible um, love to listen to them when i'm driving in addition to that i also leave another amazon link so that if you uh, much like myself want to get a physical copy some of these books you really gotta have the physical copy you gotta go through mark through it highlight some of the amazing stuff that you can actually take in and go and implement right that's the real key to uh, some of these things is taking the information and being able to go and implement that information. So with that being said, I'm excited to bring to you our book of the day. Now, believe it or not, this book, I first became um, maybe 20 years ago is when I first came across this book. It was um, it was mindset changing. So I don't want to it was just not life change. It was more mindset changing to really, really make you think. And I think for a lot of people out there, you probably either came across this book because it's been a number one bestseller on uh, New York New York Times, uh, Wall Street Journal is had it as a number one seller, The Business Week is had it as a number one seller, and even USA Today Money has had it as a number one seller. But who moved my cheese? Um, I know, who moved my cheese, right? Bring this book, it's amazing. I want to make sure you take a look at it. And so here, I want to break down to you. It's by Spencer Johnson. And so I think what made this book so universal and has been so long, Jeff, that's been around so long is because of what it is that's inside of it. The thought process behind it. Some of the amazing quotes that it uses that you really need to think about when it comes to who moved my cheese. So you're thinking, well, Brooks, tell me, who moved my cheese? I, mean, I don't even like cheese. It messes up my stomach. I get it. So, right. So let me tell you a little bit about it, right? Who Moved My Cheese is a book about change. Change is hard. No one likes change, right? We all get kind of caught in our ways and, you know, change is not something that we prefer. That's like, that's, so, you know, I think that nowadays the millennials are doing a different thing when it comes to changing. They don't mind changing jobs. And so I think a lot of them has adapted the way that this Who Moved My Cheese book really works. So <clears throat> the author goes through and he puts two, char two main characters in the book. One character's name, him, and he does not like change or she does not like change. It's just that person, that individual does not like change, right? And so then you have another one, Ha. Ha moved forward with change, right? They, they, they didn't like it as well, but you know what? They decided to adapt. They said, I need to make a change. And so throughout the book, it actually has a maze that the different changes take place as these um, characters go through. And so what you'll find is that the character that decided to make change, to adapt to some of the things that was going on in the world, kind of like we have to do every day. You know, we, we're in a, we had a season where we had a pandemic and so we saw life change. We saw things go to heavy video. We, thought, we saw things go from day-to-day -day activities to not non-existent at all. So us as, as communicators, we had to find a way to make change. And so... One of the things that you'll find that you take away from who moved my cheese, and you'll find that a lot of corporate offices, you know, much like my real estate firm, um, we believe in giving this information to our students or new realtors that are getting into the industry because um, we realize that change is going to take place. This is you're about to get ready to wrap your mind around something that you may have never dealt with before. So change is huge. And again, as you go through the maze of change, you know, I like to say and I would you know, pick it up is that change. If you don't change, you'll die, right? You, you, you won't be able to flex into the, You won't be able to really mold yourself as the industry changes that you may be a part of. And so I think that a lot of us has had an opportunity to come across that to where change 
It's really something that's going to happen and you've got to be ready to adjust and be a part of it. So, of course, this is a great book. I recommend it for everyone. You know, it's there's no reason why you should not have already have read it. But if you haven't, it is a great book to talk about change, to relax your mind. I think that the author, uh, Spencer Johnson, did an amazing job of really formulating what change looks like and why it is that it needs to take place. You know, in roles in your company, you may you may be uh, changed from to from a recruiter to acquisitions. You just got to be able to make those changes. And so in addition to that. Um, it has amazing quotes. So I want you to most definitely go through, check out some of the quotes, quotes. And like I do every week, I rate these books. And so I rate this book as a yes, a two thumbs up. Most definitely take a look at it. Consume it. Very short book. Um, not very many pages at all. I mean, it's a, this is a read that you can get, get through what 95 pages. You can get through that in a day, maybe two days. Uh, just depending on how you enjoy it. So once you get started reading it, it's a fun read. You, you'll find areas where you're like, wow, I never thought about that. Wow, I need to change that myself. And so I give it a five, right? So one to five, this book is a five. Take a look at it. Again, like and subscribe. Um, I also, again, leave these links to these books inside of the comment section. If you have a book out there that you think that I should review or that you would like to know my insight on that I may have already taken a look at that'll be coming to you in the future, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Again, Larry W. Brooks, Mr. Pure Hustle. Thank you for joining in on our book review. Have a great one.